Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic limits and continuity. Here are the examples for the indeterminate form. So first of all, I'm going to define the situation which is absolute value for x minus 2. So based on the definition, we have absolute value of x which is equals to x where the domain is x greater equals to 0. Next will be negative x and the domain will be x less than 0. So that is the definition for the absolute value of x. So for this situation, the absolute value of x minus 2, it will be x minus 2 and the domain will be x minus 2 greater equals to 0. Next, we will have negative bracket x minus 2 and the domain will be x minus 2 less than 0. So simplify the situation and we will have x minus 2 and the domain will be x greater equals to 2. For the next situation, it will be negative x minus 2 and the domain will be x less than 2. So here is the definition for absolute value of x minus 2. So next, I'm going to illustrate the situation in the number line. So where we have 2. So refer to the top x greater than equals to 2. So meaning that the right for the 2. So it, the function will be x minus 2. Next, we have x less than 2, which is refer to from the left. So the function will be negative bracket x minus 2. So now we are going to refer to the questions. Here we have the limits. When x approaching 2 from the left for the function x squared minus 4 over modulus or absolute value for x minus 2. Now I'm going to substitute the value. For the numerator, we have 2 squared, which is equal to 4 minus 4. And for the numerator, it will be 0 over 0 for the denominator. So this one consider as indeterminate form. So the strategy would be multiply by the conjugate or factorizing the situation. So for this example, my suggestion would be using the definition for the absolute value cases and factorize the situation for x squared minus 4. So by referring to the questions, so limits when x approaching 2 from the left, let's factorizing the numerator and we will have x minus 2, x plus 2 over Kyrie refer to this 2 from the left. So we have 2 from the left. So the function would be negative bracket x minus 2. So now we are going to replace the absolute value for x minus 2 with negative bracket x minus 2. So we will have negative x minus 2. So notice that we have a common terms, which is x minus 2 for the numerator and denominator. Next, we are going to simplify the situation. Limits when x approaching 2 from the left. After we simplify the situation, and we will have negative bracket x plus 2. Next step, I'm going to substitute the value. So after substituting the value, it is approaching negative 4. So here we are and thanks for watching.